السلام علیکم میں سیل ہوں ڈاکٹر انساری فرزانہ وید الزمہ ڈیپارمنٹ آف کیمیسٹی جی ٹی آر سائنس اینڈ کومرس کالیج فارو مین مالے گاؤں ویلکم آل آف یو ان پریویس سیکشن وی ہاو سین اباؤٹ دی ڈیویشن فرام بی ایرز لا اینڈ absorptivity and factors governing various measurement that means temperature, solvent, wave length, etc. Now today we are going to discuss about the instrumentation. The usual arrangement of basic component in instrument is shown in this figure in the form of block diagram. Here it is the radiant source then the radiation first passes through the filter or monochromator and the radiation coming from the filter or monochromator is monochromatic radiation then it enter into the solvent and then it is enter into the detector and detector gives the fed feedback to read out device in radiation source in the visible region 400 to 800 nanometer A tungsten filament lamp is most widely used. Its construction is similar to household lamp. It is consists of a piece of tungsten wire which is heated in controlled atmosphere. To avoid fluctuation in reading, it is necessary that tungsten lamp should provide constant radiant energy. This is achieved by employing a constant power supply to the lamp. Though the concentration of tungsten filament lamp is simple and production cost is low, it has one major drawback. It emits the major portion of radiant energy in the near infrared region. For example, at an operating temperature 1725 degrees C, it gives only 1% radiant energy of visible region and at 2725 degree C it gives 15%. It also observes that as the operating temperature increases, the lamp provides more and more percent of visible radiation. See here, in this way, energy against wavelength. However, at higher temperature, the life of lamp is reduces. Thus, it is desirable to use moderate operating temperature and use of absorbing filter between lamp and the sample which absorb most of the infrared radiation. The tungsten filament lamp may be replaced by carbon arc lamp when a more intense source of visible, visible light is required. In deuterium lamp, deuterium is used in place of hydrogen gas. The intensity of radiation emitted in 3 to 5 times the intensity of hydrogen lamp. These lamps are more expensive than hydrogen lamp but are used when high intensity is required. In xenon discharge lamp, xenon gas is stored under high pressure. It possesses two tungsten electrodes separated by about 10 m, sorry, 8 mm distance. An intense arc is formed between two tungsten electrodes by applying a low voltage. This results in the production of UV radiation. In mercury arc, the mercury vapor is stored under high pressure. When an electrode discharge is passed through it excited mercury atom will be produced which emits radiation in general the radiation source must fulfill the following requirement it must be stable it must produce sufficient intensity of radiation so that the transmitted intensity can be detected at the end of the optical path. It must supply continuous spectrum of radiation 
over the entire wavelength in which it is used. <coughs> Control of radiation power. An intense and narrow beam of radiation is required in calorimetric and spectrophotometric analysis. For this purpose, mirror lens and slit are used. The mirror can be used to deflect the light in the desired direction and to extend the path length of beam inside the instrument. The lenses can be employed to get intense and parallel beam of light. The slit are of two types, entrance slit and exit slit. The window width of slit can be changed as per requirement. The slit control the amount of incoming and outgoing light. Use of these devices gives some advantages such as bears lies obeyed, interference of stray light is avoided and sensitivity, sensitivity of measurement is increased. Filter and monochromator. It is one of the component used to get a monochromatic light. A radiation source is generally emitting a continuous spectra. That means it gives all possible wavelength of region. That means it gives polychromatic light. However, a narrow band of wavelength is always necessary in calorimetric and spectrophotometric analysis. Therefore, it is necessary to have device which will select a narrow band from wavelength of continuous spectra and for this purpose, filter and monochromators are used. A filter. A light filter is device that allows the light of the required wavelength to pass but absorb light of all other wavelength wholly or partially. Thus, given filter can be particular wavelength band. Filter are of two type, absorption filter and interference filter. Absorption filter works by selective absorption of unwanted wavelength. That means these filter limit radiation by absorbing certain portion of light spectrum. The selective absorption is illustrated in this figure. See, this is one of the simple selective absorption of wavelength. That means filter, absorption filter kya karta hai? Ke sirf desired wavelength radiation usme se pass hone deta hai aur baaki remaining radiation absorb kar leta hai. It consists of solid sheet of glass that has been colored by pigment or gelatin coated on glass or plastic. Colored solution of inorganic salt and organic dye in rectangular glass cell can also be used as a filter. The absorption filter are generally used in visible region 400 nanometer to 780 nanometer and these are characterized by peak transmittance and band passes with band pass width as shown in the figure. The usual glass filter have 35 to 50 nanometer band pass width to get narrower range of wavelength. A combination of filter may be used. Thank you for watching.